Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we are talking about table and specifically in this video, we will talk about modified field value table method. So without sting time, let's start. So here we first will understand that what is modified field, when we should use it and why we should use it. After that, we will cover the syntax and the parameters of uh, the method so the first point is saying that this particular method modified field value executed when a field is modified in a form or the wave form okay and you can use this instead of placing the code on the form controller form data source method okay you can directly use in the table level or you can use it in the form level or also you can also use in the form data source field level okay based on your requirement you have to choose where you have to write so basically you can write it in the uh, table method the second point is that each time the value of a field is changed the modified field value is called okay you have to remember that if you if you will change a particular field this particular modified field value method will call and it is useful to initialize the value of other field if the value of the current field is changed so if you are changing uh, in a field and based on that uh, you want to change the value of the other field so you can use this modified field value and the second third point is saying that the code in the modified field value method is executed without writing into the database so this particular method will not uh, write into the database uh, directly but it will check in the modified field value if it is required any kind of modification in the field then this particular method will call uh, before writing into the database and if any kind of validation in, is required then you can use the validate method validate uh, field method uh, for that and the last point is saying that the modified field value method only execute if the validation returns true so if the field validation is true uh, or the field value is actually appropriate then this modified field value method is actually called and it is executed now we'll discuss about the syntax so here you can see that it is a public method success specified is public and it is return nothing uh, it will change the field value and uh, as the return type it it is taking the void that means it will return nothing and here you can see this is the name of the method and after that this is the parameter field name and array index is optional and in the parameter you can see that it is taking the field name field name nothing but it is a extended data data type okay and also you can see that array index is there so array index is nothing but its type is integer so array index uh, the array index of the field is optional and uh, and this field name is not optional you have to pass the field name over here so i hope the theoretical uh, in the theoretical perspective what is modified field and the basic syntax i have covered there now we'll move to the practical scenario and i'll show you how you can utilize and how you can write the code for this particular modified field value method so without wasting time let's start or let's move to the practical section so now we'll move to the practical session so for that you can see that we are using the same table employee table and it is having the name basic salary designation and a uh, designation field and designation is actually a uh, enum and it is using the enum type as answer designation and if you will open this designation answer designation enum you can see that it is containing engineer and develop engineer and doctor these two element so now we will write the code for the modified field value so to override it you have to right click on the fee method and from there you have to select modified 
modified feed value. So here you can see that we have a modified field and we have a modified field value. So uh, this modified field and modified field value actually do the same type of work. But syntactically, these two methods is actually different. This particular modified field takes the parameter as a field ID, but modified field value, it takes the um, field name as a parameter. So to override this modified field, just click over here and you can see that this is the basic syntax of the modified field. The syntax of this modified field is it is taking the field name as a parameter and array index. So what is array index? Array index is nothing but the index of the field name. And if field call the super so it will call the uh, modified field value of the uh, base class that is common so now we can write our code over here also you can see that it is not returning any value that is void and it is public that means it is accessible from anywhere so now our requirement is that you, you want that if the basic salary is uh, if someone will select the engineer uh, in the designation then the basic salary will be something and if you'll so if uh, someone will select doctor then it will give another value okay so we already know that, that this field modified value actually works on a particular field and based on the particular field it will change the value of the another field so uh, so let's write the code and I'll explain each and every line of code so we have written the code over here and you can see in this line we are doing nothing but we are printing the field name so whatever value is actually getting over here uh, so it will print okay so it is always best practice that to know the value uh, of the parameter you initially print it and see that what kind of value or what value it is actually uh, passing so you can also uh, print out the array index so it will be helpful for you that uh, uh, using what type of value you are actually working so if you're not able to understand the parameter then it is always best practice that you just print or print it out and you just see that what kind of value it is actually uh, printing out so if you uh, write this code so it will print nothing but when you will uh, modify the designation field it will uh, give the value of the uh, designation field also if you will uh, write the code or if you will change the or modify the code in the basic salary then this particular field uh, 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 will be printed over here in, in the info section after that you can see that we have a switch statement so uh, our agenda, agenda is that whenever one particular field is actually modifying its value then we want to change the value of the other field okay so each time whenever one particular field will change it may be the designation it may be the basic salary or it may be the name this particular field modified field value will be called and to operate each and every field differently we are using the switch statement so whenever um, designation will be modified one case will be there if basic salary will be changed we can write the different case for that if uh, the name field will change then for the name field we can add the different case and after that you can write the uh, break statement because for each and every field the case should be different okay so that is why we need to use the switch case uh, for the modified field value or uh, this is uh, based on your requirement okay so if you don't want to use the switch statement so um, it will be your logic you can also do that but remember that uh, it will call each and every time so this is always a best practice to use the switch statement uh, because it will give the better result and the implementation uh, you can implement it uh, using switch it in a better way 
okay now i'll uh, give you the explanation so if you want to use the modified field it will give the field name and in the case section you have to use the field str so if you already know about the modified field and uh, there we have used the different way but here we are using the field str and using the field, field str you can target a particular field and we are targeting here the designation field of the employee table okay and we are saying that if we have a two different condition over here the first condition is that the first condition is that if the designation field is the engineer then the basic salary will be 10000 and if the designation field will be the doctor then his the then his basic salary is 12000 and after that we are breaking the um, breaking from this particular case and if you add more case for other field and uh, you can use here more fix more cases for other field and their corresponding logic as needed okay so based on your logic uh, if you want to add case you can add over here so for that uh, you should have the understanding of the case switch case if you don't know what is switch case why you we use this particular switch so you can see our switch state in video there we have explained about switch and why we switch is used and the syntax everything we have discussed over there so you can see that video okay now we'll uh, actually uh, build our project and we'll run and we'll show you how it actually working so from here you can see our build process is completed now we'll right click and i will open in the table browser all right our program executed and our table also um, opened so now we'll create the new element or a new record here um, so click over here or you can click ctrl n so now you can see that uh, there is no value in the basic salary and as you know that if there will be a uh, enum then automatically it will take the first uh, element in the designation or in the field section so if you want to change it to the doctor then you will be able to see that it will initialize the value of the basic salary so if we we'll click doctor you can see that in the info section it is taking the parameter as a underscore uh, form name uh, field name and it is printing the designation because we have changed the value in the designation that is why it is printing the designation and it is initialize the value with the 12,000 because we have written the code uh, we have written the code here you can see that we have selected this one uh, doctor and it is initialized the value uh, with the basic salary 12,000 so that is why it is actually taking so now if we'll change it to the engineer you will be able to see that it will take the 10,000 value and it is actually printing the designation because we have changed the value in designation field again if we'll uh, write over here something so i'm just typing my name here and if you'll click over here you can see that this time it is uh, giving the name of the field name because we have changed the name field here so whenever you will change any field value the modified field value method will execute again if you'll change something over here you can see that it is actually printing the basic salary because we have changed the in the field basic salary that's why it is printing again if we'll click one more record and here if we we'll select the doctor over here you can see it is printing the designation if you you will add something and if we'll save it or if we'll click another place so this particular method will call okay so i hope on the concept of modified value field value is actually clear so this is the code so if you want to add one more one more condition so you can take it as a assignment for you so whenever 
uh, we are giving the value for the name uh, field then you have to um, apply a condition the length of the value should not be greater than 10 if the name value if the field value of the name will be greater than 10 then it will show something or it will show some result that it is uh, greater than the length of the um, name field is greater than 10 so you can use that particular case also to practice how this modified feed actually working all right thanks for watching this video i hope you have understood the concept of modified field value method table method so if you have any question you can write it in the comment section we will try to uh, resolve your problem as soon as possible so thank you again see you in the next one